Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dana and today's video we're gonna give this piece a makeover. The first thing I started is sanding uh, the top of the piece and I noticed some kind of stuff coming out of the piece. I thought actually that was paint but I found out it's a, it's a vinyl. So they covered the top with a vinyl and I had to use my heat gun to remove all of it. It was a little bit time consuming to remove all that, all that vinyl, but I love the idea of adding vinyl to the top. I actually protect it, especially for a small desk. After that, I give it a light sanding, then I'm cleaning the piece with TSB, it's heavy duty cleaner. Then after the TSB, I usually clean a little bit with water so I can have a fresh surface. The piece uh, had a little bit, I, need to, I had to fix it a little bit, so I'm adding the Gorilla Glue to the drawer so they don't come off. As usual, I always use an oil-based primer zinzer to prevent any ble bleeding from the piece to my paint. Since my piece is a little bit plain from the front, I wanted to add a little bit of detail. So I'm using the mold called Tilden Flourish and the Sicilian Borders to add a little bit of details to the piece and I'm using the E6000 glue to add it. I use the uh, amazing resin to, add, to create the mold and they, they're very easy to, to work with. I made a lot of videos if you want to check it out. It actually dries within 10 minutes so it's very fast and you can finish a piece if you want to add the details to it within a day. So with today's project, we're using Country Chic Paint, the color Wisteria. It's the new release they have and the color is kind of the right purple for me. I love this color. And with today's project, I'm not using a brush, I'm using my spray. I'm using Wagner sprayer. This sprayer is um, good for water-based paint and oil-based paint. So with the 16 ounces that I used, I did two coats for the whole piece and that was actually really good and I was happy. <laughs> I wanted to add uh, the transfer, uh, it called Vigorous Violet by Regent Down with Prima to the top part. But I didn't want to put like the flowers in the middle, I wanted to create something a little bit different. So the transfer comes in six different sheets, you can put it on or you can create your own style or the design that you like. And for the mold, I start using the diamond dust wax, but the wax wasn't bright enough for me. So for the other side, I just switched to the uh, brush champagne acrylic paint that they have it by Redesign with Prima. If you see, this is what I'm talking about. This color is perfect because the coverage will give you, it's awesome. And not only that, the color is not too bright, not too yellowish. So it is absolutely perfect for this piece. And for the drawers, I wanted to add something a little bit has purple in it and different color. So I'm using the tissue paper by Redesign with Prima called Lavender Flora. 
it's a it's a little bit thick so it's very easy to work with and I'm using the decoupage gel to add it to the drawer all I have to do is kind of spread my decoupage gel and use a cutter to cut the edges it's very easy to work with because it's not gonna rip easily with that and uh, my piece was done this piece was sold the same day on marketplace it's purple purple colors kind of sell really fast for me thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel